Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2008, it's a Hyundai Santa Fe, and we're going to be changing the rear brake pads, rotors, and hardware. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to come over here, we're going to come in here with the screwdriver in through the back right here, and we're going to pry and push that piston back into the bore as far as we can. So you just put this in here like this. Sometimes you can get this in here, sometimes you can't. In this case, we are going to use a screwdriver, but you can see it's pushing the piston back in. So now we're going to slide these back here. And that brake pad is actually a little rusty in there as well. And now we're going to push that piston back in as far as we possibly can. Okay. And now the piston is pushed all the way in. And the way you check these, these slide pins here to make sure that they're okay and they're not rusted is you basically just take the caliper and move it back and forth. If those pins slide back and forth as these are, then it's not rusted in there. They're actually sliding just the way they're supposed to be. All right, we're going to come in here. We're going to take out that 14 millimeter bolt right there. We're going to take out this 14 millimeter bolt. We're going to take this caliper off. We're going to put it up in here for now. Then we're going to come down in the back over here. There's actually two 14 millimeter uh, bolts that actually hold this bracket on. We're going to take out one here and then one down on the bottom underneath here. And then we're going to pull this bracket off of the car. Then we're going to take out these screws right here. This one and this one. As you can see, they're pretty rusty inside there. So I'm going to show you now, before we do anything any further, how to get those screws out. All right, so uh, let me get set up and uh, we'll get started. Okay, now these screws, you do not want to strip these screws out. If, you, if you're going to take them out, you push on the screwdriver and turn it and see if you can get it to turn. They don't turn at all. All right, so what we're going to do now is you're going to take your hammer and you're going to take your, your metal drift you take it and you put it on top of the, the Phillips head screw and you tap it. Right? What that does is it breaks loose any kind of rust inside there. And then it comes out. Now, if you're trying to take this out and a, and a regular screwdriver does not work, you can get something like this. This is called an impact driver. What you would do is you would take it and you put it on the screw head like this, and you take it and you hit the back of it here pretty firmly. And what this does is it pushes this tool in and rotates it at the same time and breaks that, that Phillips head screw loose. So I'll show you how it works. What that does is it pushes it into it and rotates it. Now, if you don't have this and this is stripped out, you're going to need to get a drill and you're going to have to drill this head of the bolt out if you have to. All right? But we don't have that problem. We're just going to put that off to the side for now. And now we're going to take out that 14 millimeter and that 14 millimeter. If you're trying to take this out, and this is spinning but not coming out, you could get in here with, I think it's a 17 or an 18 millimeter wrench, and you can hold this, this slide pin from rotating. So that's not the case right now, but if you had to, you could. They both came out, so we don't have to do that. Okay, so now after we, uh, we have the caliper loose, we just take the caliper off like this, and put this off to the side so that it's out of the way and not hanging down here. All right, if it was gonna hang, you wanna tie it up. You wanna take a piece of wire or a hanger or anything like that, and you would take it and you would hook it like this and 
put it like that because you, you don't want this hanging down on the ground. All right, so, um, or you don't want it hanging by this cable, the, uh, the hose, because you'll, you'll actually just destroy the hose. All right, so that's that. Now these are actually rusted pretty badly in here. You can see right up on top right here, they say applied. All right, and now we're going to take out that 14 millimeter bolt there. And there's also another 14 millimeter right there. See what happens is this brake pad gets rusted into this mounting bracket right here. And when it, when it applies the brake, it doesn't come back off. It stays applied and it, it just makes that rotor go out of round. All right, so what we're going to do now is this rotor is ready to come off. But as you can see, it's stuck on there pretty good. Now, we do have a tool to pull the rotor off, but we're just going to tap it and see if we can get it out easy enough because the rotor is trash anyway. What happens is it gets that rust lip right inside here, and that rust lip is what holds it in there. Now, you don't want to get in there and rip the thing off because you'll pull off all of these, uh, these, these little clips right here. You're going to rip them through, but in this case, we were able to back it off and get it out. I mean, in this case, we were able to just work it back and forth, and we are able to get it out. All right, so this then is trash. Before we throw it in the scrap pile, I just want to point this out to you. You see this little piece right here? Right there? We need to take that out because we need to put that in the other one. So we just push it from the inside with a screwdriver and it comes right out. And now our replacement, we just put it in here like this, push it, and it goes right in. We're going to line this up so it goes back on. You see the screw hole is right there. We're going to put it on just like this. Push it in. Just like that. And now we'll put these two screws in there. Tighten them in as tight as you can. Just gonna tap it in so it's tight. Okay. And that's it. Alright, so that's as far as we're gonna go right there. The next thing we're going to do, hey, how are you? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this clip right here off, and you just go underneath there with a screwdriver, and you just pull it off like that, and then that's trash. Same thing over here. That's trash as well. And this is where I was telling you about the rust right in here, and right here as well. I'm going to take this over to the wire wheel over here, and I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. So let me clean this up and we'll come right back. Now, if you don't have a wire wheel, you can use a file. You come in here with a file and you just clean this up and get all of that rust out of there the best you can. All right, but I'm going to take it over there and clean it up and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, now that we have it cleaned up, we're just going to put a little bit of, of uh, brake grease on the surfaces just like this. And then we're going to take our new hardware, put it on here like this, and push it.
just like that. Pushes it right in. All right, we do the same thing on the top one. Just like that. And that's it, that's just how it goes. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out these slide pins right here. You pull it out and make sure they go back into the same holes that they come out. Take it out like that. We're going to clean off any kind of grease that's on here. We're going to put a little bit of the uh, synthetic grease on there. And then we take this, put it back in, and you push it in until that little boot pops right back up. And we'll do the same thing on this one. Same thing, just push it in until it pushes all the way. That boot has to snap right into that little piece right there, just like that. All right? And now we'll take some grease, some grease, grease up every place that the brake pad is going to touch, just like that. Okay. Oh. I just want to point this out to you as well. These are the brake pads themselves. You can see that this disc indicator right here is on the upper part here, and you want to make sure that it goes on the upper part. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. This brake pad goes in this way, so technically that would be on the bottom. But you want to match it up and make sure you put it back in the same way that it came out. And we know it was the inner brake pad because there is the, where the piston was touching. Right. Um, the brake pad goes in here just like this. And you see how freely that brake pad moves back and forth? Nice and free, just the way it's supposed to, you see? All right, slides nice and freely. So now we're going to put this caliper mounting bracket back in. Good now. All right, so we're just going to put this on. We're going to catch these two 14 millimeter bolts in the back. You want to catch them both by hand and screw them in before you tighten them up with the ratchet. Because otherwise what will happen is you'll have one that may be um, too tight and the hole may be off where the second one needs to screw into. We're going to put our brake pads in like this. We'll take our second brake pad and just put it in here like this. And you can see they slide nice and freely now, just the way they're supposed to. We'll take our caliper. Now, any place that's going to touch the brake pads, you want to put a little bit of, of synthetic grease on there, just like that. Okay. And now we'll put the caliper over the top. And you may have to push your slide pins in to, to get it over the top. And screw the two 14 millimeter bolts in. Now remember what I said, if you're going to try to tighten these in and this is going to rotate right here, then you would hold it with probably a 17 or an 18 millimeter wrench. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Now once you have the two bolts caught, we could tighten them up. That's it. Now you don't want to tighten up these bolts too tight and snap them off. All right, let's see. Um, okay, that's it. You're all set. There is talk specs on everything. If you need the specs, send me an email. I'll let you know. Now, I did the other side. This side is finished. It's ready to go. But before you drive the vehicle, you're going to get in the car, truck, whichever, and you're going to step on the brake pedal and pump it a couple of times. You're going to notice that the brake pedal goes right to the floor. You're going to think you did something wrong, but you didn't. It's a normal procedure. What happens, remember we push that piston back in? 
When you push that piston back in, now when you step on the brake pedal up inside the vehicle, you need to push that piston back out to touch into the back of the brake pad. Remember back here where it touched into it? Right now, right now the, the pad is in there, but the caliper itself, the piston, is out further like this. By pumping the brake pedal, it pushes the piston all the way up against here, and it touches into it nice and, uh, nice and tight, and it holds a nice firm pedal. All right, that's it. You're all set. Um, you will notice a little burning smell. That's perfectly normal, um, but you should be in good shape. Right. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.